guys. How are you Hi. today? Hi, Tatiana. <laughs> We're doing great. How are you? Great. I had such a fun time watching Tomorrow War. I love, you know, getting to know, having many questions about the uh, future soldiers, such as yourselves. <laughs> so starting with you, Jasmine, can you talk a little bit a little bit about Lieutenant Hart's mindset at the start of the movie? Because she seems like super cool, under pressure, and yet at the same time, the fate of the world is on her shoulders. What's going exactly. on there? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, the thing we're getting, we're, we're, when we see Lieutenant Hart, when we're first introduced to her, we're getting like the middle of her story. So keeping in mind that this is the first time anybody in history has ever jumped you know, back into the future or jumped period. Um, so there's, there's that, there's like this, oh my God, we actually did it. We made it. And she's coming from a war fighting, you know, these vicious aliens mm -hmm. and she's left her, her loved ones behind. Um, but, uh, and not understanding why she was given this position to help recruit. Like, why is this responsibility on me? So there's all, all this like doubt and fear and, and worry of not even be able to, being able to get back to, you know, the future um, on top of the fact that what if they don't hear me? What if they don't, you know, understand this plea and they question me and they put me in prison or something? I don't know, you know? Right. Um, so all of that was playing, but knowing the war that she just came from and, and knowing that if she does not get this message across, her people could die. That's, that's why she, you know, is that calm and cool and just delivers the message the way it needs to be delivered. I love that. Yeah. That's like so, so many like difficult opposites to be playing at the same time. Yeah, um, absolutely. <laughs> and Keith, uh, Major Greenwood is kind of like our right hand man here, especially with mm -hmm. uh, Yvonne's character. I love that yeah. interplay between you two. Can you talk about building that dynamic, especially because we don't get to know your whole story, just like Jasmine said? Yeah, no, nah, it was it was I mean, one being, you know, uh, Yvonne's right hand was just easy because I felt like I was like that, like off screen. And I felt like I was learning. I, it's weird playing that character. I started realizing how protective I was of her in real life in a natural way. It was just like, yo, I got to beat her for Yvonne, like whatever she needs. If she need, you know, whatever she needs for me as an actor, to, like, do, do I got to give her more? And it was just inspiring to watch her. Uh, it really was like, it's just so dope. And <laughs> I, I've watched her in Handmaid's Tale and I, I remember telling her and she just got like shy, like, oh Aww. yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. The show is crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what have you seen? And I was like, nah, it's good. Like you, you really kill it. But nah, she was, um, so it was easy to just translate that on screen. So it was easy, like working with her. I didn't feel like I was, you know, you know, sometimes you, you work with actors who, I consider her like an A-list. Do you work with, with actors, like A-list actors and stuff? And you always feel like, okay, I might say something dumb or I might not give them enough or they might like be irritated by me. And I didn't get that vibe from her at all. She was, she was really cool. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, I love uh, Chris McKay, you know, but I know him as like, yeah. Lego Batman kind of mm -hmm. <laughs> animation direction. So I'm wondering what it, what the process was like with him, because this is like, I feel like his first time doing such a big budget, like live action action film. Yeah. And then, you know, similarly, you guys are just being thrown in there as, <laughs> as soldiers yeah. who may not know what you're doing. <laughs> Can you guys talk about that a little bit? <laughs> Honestly, McKay is like the actor's dream, you know, yeah. director um, from from the very beginning. He was interested in our take on the character and what we would bring as, you know, Jasmine and Keith to the character. Mm -hmm. um, even something as, as, as simple as the fact that I, Jasmine, wear this like African necklace. It's a gold African necklace. And he said, I like that. Would you mind giving that to the character? And that's how Lieutenant Hart ended up wearing her black mm -hmm. um, African necklace. Oh, I love so that. He was, yeah, he was very much much into what can you as that what would you as a person do in this situation as this you know in this situation and just bring that to the character um and he's very like very um just uh observant about what you would do as an actor oftentimes he would say you notice that thing that you just did i like that do mm -hmm. more of that <laughs> he's so observant it's it's yeah. incredible yeah he'll watch you off screen and really want that in the screen it was funny uh, it's funny that she's bringing up um you know about the, the african necklace mm -hmm. um because chris chris would chris would ask me on certain on um, in some especially in adr he would ask mm -hmm. like it would be i maybe have to say colonel you know, and he'd be like, what would you say instead of Colonel? Like if you were trying to get uh, uh, Romeo Command's attention, I was mm -hmm. like, I'd be like, yo. <laughs> and he was like, say that. I was like, for real? He was like, yeah, like that's why. And I thought that was so cool. Cause I'm like, 
we don't see that, you know? And that, that's how movies become cliche mm. because everyone is acting how they feel like they're supposed to act rather than just being. And he was just like, you know, you in war sometimes, you're not going to always stick to the terminology. <laughs> it's like, right. sometimes you're going to say, yo, I was like, <laughs> that's fire. Like, I love that. I think that's, that makes me want to work. With, I wish I could work with him on every movie he does. Yes. Like, I, I know. Too. I wish you could just take a director with you. Like, me no, I just want to be in all your movies. I'm good. Well, hopefully, you get the chance again, either yeah, in a sure. you know the day after tomorrow war or in another <laughs> film. That's <laughs> hey, that, she, did, she just war. named it. She yeah, just right. named it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Thank <laughs> you. you guys were great.